Joining me today on NYSE Floor Talk is Daphne Heim Langford. She is the founder and CEO at Tarse Pharma. Daphne, it's wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak here. So, Daphne, most people aren't familiar with uveitis or uveitic glaucoma. Tell me more about this medical condition and why finding the treatment has become your life mission. Well, thank you for this question. Uveitis is a chronic, recurrent autoimmune disease of the eye. Like in any other autoimmune disease, the immune system is a little bit too strong and it's causing inflammation in a healthy organ. In uveitis, the healthy organ is the eye. With recurrent inflammation in the eye, the tissue is being distracted that leads to vision loss and blindness. And indeed, two thirds of patients will end up with vision loss and 22% with blindness. Now, despite those devastating outcomes, and we are speaking about young patient population, the only available treatment for uveitis in the past 70 years are topical steroids that creating glaucoma complications that further uh, lead to blindness. Now, you ask why this is what I'm doing. Uh, I was diagnosed with uveitis as a very young kid at the age of eight. And by now I lost my vision on my left eye and I'm struggling to maintain my right eye vision. Uh, at one point in my career as venture capitalist serving on a board of uh, cutting edge technologies in medical devices that brought life-changing technologies into patients, I realized that I cannot stay blind, if I may, to my kind, to patients with uveitis, and I decided that I will take this as my life mission. So now, tell me, Daphne, what's unique about your innovation? Our innovation is very interesting. It is practically inspired by nature. So unlike steroids that are suppressing the immune system, our technology is modulating the immune system. And inspiration by nature means that we took one part of the molecule that we are developing for intestine, from intestinal worms, which we are manufacturing in a lab, it's okay, but the in intestinal worms, in order to survive evolution, needed to suppress a little bit the host, us, immune system. So we took small part of those immunosuppressants uh, secreted by intestinal worms, covalently bound it to tuftsin, which is a short peptide secreted by our spleen, and created a molecule that synergistically modulates the immune system. Daphne, you recently received an SPA agreement from the FDA. What does this mean? SPA is a special protocol assessment. It's a binding agreement from the FDA that practically minimizes the risk toward approval. In our recent phase three clinical trial, we have demonstrated a benefit, positive benefit risk profile with our eye drop formulation of the new technology. And therefore, the agreement granted us a practical and pragmatic, a pragmatic path forward for approval of our eye drop formulation. Daphne, can your innovative solution to uveitis cover additional medical conditions that do not sufficiently provide effective solutions? Sure. Um, in the retinal diseases, the back of the eye diseases such as diabetic macular edema, age-related macular degenerations, both have still a significant unmet medical need and, our, and both also have an underlying inflammatory pathology. And our compound with its, with its multi-target uh, activity toward the inflammatory system has the potential to revolutionize this field and help patients maintain the, their vision. So now we're here at the New York Stock Exchange. Tell me how important is it for Tarsier to become a public company? Developing a biotech technology requires substantial amount of capital and utilizing the public vehicle after we will conclude our crossover financial rounds will enable us to reach our goals successfully, hopefully, while maintaining our core values within the company and in our commitments to our patients. Daphne, it's been wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thank you very much.